What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, we're gonna go ahead out to the pick and pool. Um, I wanna check out a couple pick and pools. There's gonna be one with the 350Z that hasn't been there too long, so hopefully there's gonna be things there that I need. Mainly what I'm looking for is, I'll probably try to get some pillars, if they still have them. Um, the strut tower cover thing, bezel, cause mine is cracked. Some, the emblems for the fenders here, because they're, I need new ones anyway. Um, the cubby hole. Um, I know this breaks on a lot of Z's, so hopefully the one there has a cover because my cover broke um, and I cut this up for my air gauges when I had them. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I need for this car. Um, I'll probably scavenge through it and see what I can get out of it. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can find today. Hopefully we can find some goodies. Um, I've never been to a pick and pull here before. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna be heading out towards San Jose side and checking out the picking pools over there. So wish me luck. All right, guys. So we are here at the picking pool, San Jose, just north, something like that. Yeah, this is the north. Yeah, but this is our first time here. So we're trying to find the 350Z. It's supposed to be in this aisle somewhere. I think. They only have one, so oh, I see it. Oh, it's smashed! Look at this thing. It's like smash smashed. Oh. This guy hit a pole. Damn. I hope the guy's okay. Look at this seat. Oh my gosh. I hope this guy's okay. Guys, I found one thing, this cup holder. I need it. How do I take it out? Guys, I found it. It was right here. I had to lift up the tire, but it's here and it's not cracked. I'm taking this, bad boy. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna take these uh, brake lines right here, the rubber brake lines, so that way, with the brackets, so that way I can mount these up for my dual calipers setup. All right, so. It'll be nice and OEM, so pretty much take this bracket with this rubber brake line right here. And then, because um, I already have calipers as you guys seen. So I just need this rubber brake line right here with this bracket so I can mount it up to the back of the car somewhere. So it'll be a little bit more OEM and a little bit more better. So. Brake, brake fittings are known to strip very easily, so be very careful. Oh, that was way too easy for you your first time. <laughs> the yes, I need this too, guys. I'm just finding all the little goodies. You just have to look really good. Um, Cause you need stuff that people might not need, but they kind of just throw it around and trash it. So, you just gotta look good. All right guys, so I'm back from the pick and pull. Let me just show you guys what I got. All right guys, so this is what I got from the pick and pull. It doesn't look like much, but I only paid about 20 bucks or so. Um, and that's a really good deal because one of these parts alone is gonna cost me 20 bucks. So, I spent like maybe 10 minutes out, 15 minutes out in the sun and uh, I got a really good deal. So, let's go through these things. Um, I got this Z strut tower cover, uh, emblem cover, because mine is broken and I was gonna redo it with fiberglass, but I ended up only paying about $4 for this. So it was cheaper than me actually buying fiberglass, you know, materials and all of that. So I believe I scored big time on this. Um, if you see it in the video, I didn't know it was there. It was, every, the back of the car was torn apart, um, but when I lifted up the spare tire, looking for you know what else I could find, um, this ended up being flipped upside down. So I didn't know it was there until I actually went scavenging around. So luckily this was intact and uh, someone already took it off for me. So I scored. Next, I got these two uh, rear brake lines here, these rubber brake lines with the brackets. 
Um, this is gonna help me out big time because I'm gonna be doing a dual caliper setup in the rear. As soon as I have time to really, you know, take the car apart all over again, um, I just registered it. So I kinda wanna drive it for a little bit. Um, and then I got these couple little miscellaneous things, like a cup holder. Mine has been broken since I bought the car. It's actually been missing. So it's nice that this one was still there, surprisingly, and it was undamaged. Um, and it works. So I'm gonna go slide this in the car. So to take this out is really easy. If you see, there's a little groove here. You just stick a screwdriver in, it pops the tab down, and you can pull it out. To install the cup holder, it's fairly simple. All you do is you push it back in. Just like that. And now, I have a working cup holder. Next, I got these two things. These are the springs for the hatch. Now, mine were missing on the car as well, but this actually pops your hatch when you push the button. Um, like it, it pops it up. Mine's when you push the button, you have to use two hands to lift the hatch while you push the button just to get it to open. With these, you you just put them on and uh, it pops the hatch when you push the button. Installation is simple. You match it up, whichever way it'll go. And then it locks into place, just like that. What? Put it in there anyway. So let's see if it works. Go ahead and close it. Pop it. Oh, beautiful. Did you guys see that? In the four years I've owned this car, it's never done that on its own until today. One more time. Oh, I don't know about you, but that's exciting. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and install the switch. As you guys can see, the knob is broken, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out with this one. Fairly simple, again, you just pop out the actual switch itself. You just pop out the wiring. You come to the back, you get yourself a flat head or something. Pop the tabs. I'm on the other side, just like that. That's the old one. The new one, you just push it in so it clicks. Then you plug it in. Bingo! Yeah. Nothing is bolted down in the car, nothing's cleaned up, so the car looks filthy and everything is loose. Because it hasn't been 100% put back together yet. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming along nicely. Easy. And then as far as this goes here, you're going to want to pop off these side panels here. And lift up this panel here to get to this. Um... Just like that. Just like that. And then uh, I just pop it out. You don't have to pull it all off. You just kind of pop it off with the grooves. And then you can slowly start maneuvering this off, or out, I should say. Um, it is held down by clips. That, it's fairly simple to remove. All right guys, so once you get everything taken off like this, you see there's holes like one, two, three. You're mainly gonna line up this middle dowel right here. 
Um, I took the clips off on the sides because when I take it, take this back off to paint in black later, I do not want this to crack. So, so if you guys can see that this is supposed to go under this part here, so you kind of have to like shimmy it in there. like that now look at how nice that looks now I think I might leave it silver uh, it looks really really nice and clean I'm just excited because it, my car hasn't looked this clean in a while 